But let's talk about receiving and feeling the love. Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary with Franciscan Friars of the Renewal, and this is Ascension Presents. Uh, today's going to be super kind of concrete and practical, and I'm just going to give you the ending at the beginning and then explain why. The proposal, the proposal is for you for at least one week. When you, you cross a crucifix or an image of Our Lady, uh, instead of saying, like, I love you, uh, say, I love you too. So I love you too. So the proposal is to try that for, for at least a week. Two of the ones I have in my, this, my, in my cell, a corpus I got when I was in Africa and then our, our lady here. So I have these right in my room. And so often like the movement has been to, to like show them that I love them or to want to love them or to, to try and do better throughout my day to show them love. And there's a place for that. But, but I just think we want to contextualize the flow and the order and make sure our love and relationship with the Lord is right ordered, right? Because this is how we know love. Uh, not that we have loved him, but that he has loved us first. And there's a beautiful reading from Titus that we had recently in the liturgy where it is, it's, remember, it's like God showed mercy on us, not because of anything we did, but quite simply because he loves us. And just, we want to keep, uh, again, the proper order to our love that um, Christianity and discipleship, it's a response relationship. The strength we need, the grace we need, the capacity we need, uh, the peace we need, the desire we need to love the Lord, um, it, all, it all has to be received first. I feel pretty strongly about this, particularly somebody who works with kind of young men and women uh, who are really, really, really trying to give it all to the Lord. Because sometimes, sometimes if we don't get it properly ordered, we can turn discipleship into sort of like an achieving or or performing like way of life or state of mind like like in sports in school so often to get the affirmation to get the grade to get sort of success to get the uh, the respect and approval of teachers coaches um, other people on the team like we have to do something good once we do something good then we feel the love once we do something good then we get the a but that's not how it works with Christianity God doesn't love us because we do good things God doesn't love us because we do the hard things God just loves us <laughs> and he loves us in our poverty and he loves us in our sinfulness and when we experience the depth of his love first uh, in our absolute need and dependence it fills us it fills us with an incredible love, an incredible heart of gratitude. And from this place of gratitude and of receptivity overflows our radical discipleship and our deep fidelity and loyalty and love of the Lord so that we're not doing it. We're not doing the things, saying the prayers, uh, making the sacrifices to win his affirmation, but, but in gratitude for the love that we've already received, right? And so just to kind of help us, to help educate us in this and to help this truth, sink into our worldview, that's just, I think it's a really, really concrete and easy little practice, which you can do for a short time or you can do it for an extended period of time, is again, before the crucifix uh, and before the image of Our Lady, of just um, as an expression of realizing uh, that they've loved us first and that they love us in our poverty and they love us even in our sinfulness and that they can love us to life, is again, just to say like, I love you too, like Jesus crucified. I love you too. Um, Mary, my mother, I know that you already love me. I know that you already love me, even in my struggle, even in my brokenness and my weakness and my sinfulness and my selfishness and my poverty. Like, I know that you love me. I love you too. And so again, I, I just to give it a shot, see how it goes. If it's something that really works for you, I'd encourage you to keep practicing it. There's no reason you can only do it for a week or a month. But I think all of us just doing it for a little bit of a time as a way of really, really owning and understanding that it's not about us loving them first, but it's about them who have loved us first. By this we know love, not that we have loved him, but that he has loved us first. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, great to be with you again. Great to be with everybody who I had a chance to see in person at Seek. It was a lot of fun and really, really moving to just be with you and receive a lot of really encouraging words about the way the Lord has been using Ascension Presents to touch your life and to transform your life. And we'll see you again next week. Remember, we are pilgrims on the surf. So it's peregrinos, poco a poco, little by little. Vamos a llegar. We're going to make it. God bless y'all.